going on guys? Kevin with Freedom Coins here and again, I have another bank bag of dimes. Now, same kind of situation as before. Uh, I went out to the bank, I filled it up with half dollars and they said, hey, our second bag of dimes is full if you want it. And I said, you know what, I'll take it. So to kind of give you a breakdown of how this works. So they have two bags of dimes in their coin machine. So as soon as one fills up, it then starts filling into the second bag. Well, that last bag of dimes where I found that Seated Liberty dime was the first bag. Well, that filled up and overflowed into this one. Well, they told me that this one now has filled up. So with that, the first half of this should be part of that last bag. Um, so hopefully this first half has some silver in it. Um, judging by the thumbnail, obviously you guys have seen that there is some silver in here. Um, but basically what happened is the person whoever dumped that Seated Liberty and all those other dimes, hopefully that collection filled up that last bag and started this bag. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open into this one. Again, it's all, all sealed up still, 100%. Uh, I'll put a little clip in there of me getting the bag. It's like two seconds, uh, I didn't wanna be creepy. Uh, so I only took a two second video of them pulling it out of the machine for me. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut into this, start hunting this, and then I'm going over to my buddy Doug's house to finish it. He loves hunting dimes, so I said, you know what? You can help me with this one. So we'll cut this open, we'll start into it, and then we'll finish the bag at Doug's place. So with that being said, I'm gonna turn this around and get it open. All right, here we go. Got a knife, let's see. See if we can get this open, okay. Sorry guys, it's hard to do with one hand, but we're in, like I said, like the last video, I'll just do one handful at a time. I'll search everything. If I find silver, I'll let you know, but if not, I'll put them in a bag and just keep on going. So let's get into the hunt. I'm hoping that this one is just as good as the first one, but we'll only find out once we get it open. So let me keep hunting these and I'll let you know when I find silver. All right, guys, I'm not too far into this bag. I'd probably say about 10 handfuls, and I found my first silver. Uh, it's gonna be right there. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do this with one hand, guys. Uh, is this it? Ah, oh, shoot. All right, this is gonna be a lot harder. Let me, <laughs> let me find it. Um, yeah, let me find it and I'll show it to you guys when I find it. All right, sorry guys, I thought I could do that with one hand, but it's a lot harder than you guys think. Right here, 1964. So we got ourselves our first silver dime, and like I said, that was towards the beginning of this bag, so that's gonna be a good sign. It'll be a really good sign. So 64, we'll set that right up here, and then I'm just gonna keep on hunting. All right, guys, I'm over at Doug's place. We're hunting dimes right now, and this is my second handful of dimes. And we're gonna have silver on this top one right here. So again, we'll dump these all out and see if we can keep track of where that's at. All right, there we go, 1957. So the last one was a 64, found that out in my house. So now we have a 57. And then I went through two boxes of half dollars real quick with Doug right beforehand, and I did find a Ben Franklin. So we are adding to our pile of 90s for the day. So we got one dime, technically two, and then we have our Ben Franklin. I think I have that dime. There we go. I made sure to bring it. So it's this one right here. All right, Doug's hunting. I'm hunting. We'll get back to it. All right, guys, we have about one handful of dimes left. And unfortunately, all we found are these two. This one's not silver. It just fell out of my hand. Uh, we have these two right here, but I did find, this is that Mercury, I think, from the thumbnail. Yep, the 1941. Fall out of my hand. All right, so we got our 1941 Mercury. So this bag looks like it's only gonna end up having three silver dimes in it, which is kind of unfortunate because I thought we were gonna have more out of this bag. But anyway, guys, three silver dimes. I gotta go through this handful, and then Doug's gotta go through that handful right there. But it's looking like we're only gonna have three. Let us finish this up, and we'll get back to you in a second. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this bag right here. We got everything dumped into here and into this bucket. We ended up 
with three silver dimes. We had the 64, the 41, and then this 57. And then, like I said, in the two boxes of half dollars that I hunted, I did have this 1960 Ben Franklin. So all in all, it was a good hunt. Definitely wasn't as good as our last dime hunt, but overall, I will take it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But in the meantime, stay free, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys on the next one.